Hola, bienvenidos. Here we are on our audio number 16. Would you believe we're into the P's now for the vocabulary building for uh, Victor's Adventures in Spain. Las Aventuras de Victor en España, which is a parallel textbook that has um, an audio with it, that has vocab building, and that has uh, lessons with every chapter. So it's an interesting book. Okay, I hope you like it. So let's start with the P's, okay? Now, the first word that we're going to learn today, or that you were going to learn, is the word for parents. Now, the first thing that we're going to learn is the word for father, okay? Because it's virtually the same word. So the word for father is padre. Padre, okay? Now, as if you've read the word, which you just have, if, you, if you've seen the video, if you haven't in the audio, have a look at it in the book. It, it's, we, we have the word padre. We just say padre because we pronounce it really badly, okay? But it's padre, okay? And padre is a priest, is it not? Okay, so just imagine that your parent, your father, is a priest. Now, in my case, that was virtually the truth. So w what happens is parents, to say parents, what they do is they say fathers, would you believe? So padre is father and parents are padres rather than padre y madre, okay? So padres. So just imagine that you look at your parents and they've both got dog collars on, the, the, the priests, okay? Padres. Catholic ones. With a little one of those little hats on okay so padre padres next one is page the page in a book now listen to how this is pronounced pagina 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 notice where the accent is it's on the a okay so it's pagina all right so how you remember this if you listen to the, the the sound of the word, it's pagina, okay? So it looks like it's page in a, because it's a page in a book. A page in a book, pagina. Okay, page in a book, pagina. Excellent. Next word that we're going to learn is country, as in the country that I live in, whatever country it is, okay? And the word for country, is país país okay so it sounds like pie doesn't it a pie so imagine you're looking at a map of the world and instead of seeing countries you actually see pies okay you just see a load of pies on on the on the, the world país Pais, country. Okay. Next one is bread. Now, maybe, maybe you know this already or you've heard it if you studied French because it's very similar. But the word for bread in Spanish is pan. Pan. Okay, so this is an easy one to think of because all you need to imagine is that what do you cook bread in? Well, you cook bread in a pan. Yeah, you put the pan in the oven and out pops the bread. So, pan, bread, cook it in a pan. Okay, next one, trousers. Okay, now, sometimes we call them trousers in English and sometimes we call them pants. Okay, is there a difference? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just if you want to sound a little bit more formal, you say trousers. And if you want to sound a bit more colloquial, you say pants. Well, pants in Spanish is pantalones. Pantalones. Okay, so easy to remember because what's the old word? Where, do, where does the word pants come from? It comes from pantaloons. Okay, whether you knew that or not, now you do. Okay, so pants comes from pantaloons. And so pantaloons, pantalones, it's the same. 
So imagine somebody with a nice pair of bright purple pantaloons, pantalones. Okay. And then we've got the last one in the series. I'm just going to keep them down to six. Okay, so that they're nice and short. And this one is a pair. Now, I don't mean the fruit. I mean two of a kind. A pair of shoes, a pair of gloves, a pair of slippers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the word for pair is par. Par. Okay, so look at the word. The difference between par and pair is an I. That's all. So it's virtually the same word, just without the I. So, for example, you say, I have a pair of shoes. In Spanish, you say, tengo un par de zapatos. Okay. Easy. Okay. So we've whizzed through them because you're getting better at the system. Sometimes what I find is when I'm doing this with, with a class, for example, when I go really quickly, it doesn't give them a chance to kind of um, overanalyze things. They just kind of get the picture and remember. And I find that people's recall, no matter how quickly I go, the recall's really good, okay? So don't worry about speed, just get the picture in your mind. Or, or if you can't get pictures, obviously not everybody is, is works on pictures in the mind, but you can, for example, everybody can imagine um, a blue car. Everybody can in some, get some representation of a blue car. So that's all that you need to do. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to check now to see how much you've remembered. A lot or all. So let's see. First word. I'll give you the Spanish. You tell me what the English is. Ready? Padres. Padres. You should be seeing your parents with dog collars on and little round little, those little hats. That's right. Father, or parents, padres, and padres, father, okay? Next one. Pagina. Pagina. So it sounds like page in a book. It's a page. Pagina is page. Well done. Next. País. 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 So you're looking at a map of the world, looking at all of the countries, and they all look like pies. So country, país. This one. Pan. Pan. Cooked in a pan. What is it? It's bread. Bread is cooked in a pan. Excellent. And this one, pantalones. Pantalones. Have you got it? Pantaloons, pants, trousers. Pantalones. And then the last one, par. Par. So what's that? It's just missing the eye. It's a pair. Un par de guantes. Pair of gloves. Yeah, par is a pair. Excellent. So there you are. That was short and sweet. You should have all of those now logged in your mind. Don't worry about having to repeat, okay? Listening to something once and not having remembered everything is not failure. It's success. If you remember one, it's success. Or even if you just approximate something or just get the you're starting to get the idea of how the system works that's success okay Rome wasn't built in the day I don't even know how many days it took to build Rome give yourself a time be patient with yourself and you'll get there okay entonces nos vemos en el próximo hasta luego adiós